is the biggest party of the summer. Bring out your bathing suits. Crack open those ice cold brewskis. Get the sunscreen, man. Get that sunscreen because Brooklyn is popping. Chair shot reality here on WrestleZone.com. I am joined by the man, Ronell Hunt, the Rev. Blessings. He has the screen section here. Man. Has always. the sign. They always, always. have him here. Right? It's, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. But we have SummerSlam at the Barclays Center Sunday night, only on the WWE Network. A stacked card, four hours of yep. action and entertainment. Let's get right to it. Let's talk about predictions. Sasha Banks defending her WWE Women's Championship against Charlotte. Who you got? I honestly think Sasha really needs this. The reason why she needs this is because it's too early to have her drop the title. When we first did the brand split, WWE thought enough of Sasha to give it to her right with the very first brand split. We're talking about Monday Night Raw in Pittsburgh. The very first, they give it to her. You have Charlotte doing all this talking about Sasha being the one night stand and that's how it's going on. They go back and forth. Hey, Ric Flair, you're the son of, you know, you're the daughter of one. The thing is, Sasha needs to keep it. She has proven herself that she is main event material with NXT. Honestly, she still has a long way to go as she has for WWE. I think Sasha wins and Sasha keeps the title as well for a lot of the same reasons as you. Charlotte's at a point right now where she's had it for such a long time. She can lose clean once or twice, and that's not going to hurt how she's been booked. Yeah. Because she has the pedigree. She has the look of a women's wrestler, you know, 5'10", probably about 150 pounds. She looks like a volleyball when player. When I seen her in person, We know dude, Josh Eisenberg likes uh, that. I was uh, a little intimidated when I seen her in person. Were you? I know LeBar probably those soiled arms? his pants How big are those times. arms? They're, they're almost bigger than the rest, man. I'm not hating that, so we're both <laughs> going on Charlotte. What we got next? All right, let me ask you this, man. We have Miz, Apollo Crews. The IC Championship. We're going Intercontinental. Wait, what's your what's your pick on that? I have to go with the Miz retaining the championship. If SmackDown really wants to make a big impact, they would do something in another match, not necessarily this match. It seems to me that for whatever reason, they're giving the Miz and Marie so much time in main storylines, yeah. but they're not developing their own storyline with Apollo Crews. Yeah. You're getting backstage segments or videos posted on Facebook about a letter to from Apollo's mom saying that uh, you can kick his Hollywood butt. Doesn't make sense to me. Doesn't connect. I do think he either cheats to win or a disqualification, keeping the championship on The Miz because he is probably the most hated guy on SmackDown as a heel. Honestly, I have to disagree with you. Uh -oh. Now, mind you, okay. I did balance both ways on this. The reason why I'm disagreeing is we're talking about the new era with better way. I mean, how many sure. times has Miz had the opportunity? If not held, he's a, he's a multi-time champion. Number one, this is what needs to happen. Apollo needs to win. He's athletic. He has the build of a heavyweight, but he has the quickness of a cruiserweight. You don't get that often. You don't come across it often. Okay. This match is going to show Apollo, he's naturally athletic. He, I think he's going to outshine the Miz. We look at a psychology part of this as a wrestler. I'm looking at, hey, make sure it makes sense. Give the title to Apollo. Let's continue with this new era. They need something to look about since they're right now battling with Raw right now. This is what SmackDown needs. Okay, speaking of the new era, Gallows and Anderson. My boys going for the WWE Tag Team Championships against The New Day. Uh, and The New Day won the championships at SummerSlam yes. one year ago. Do they drop it in that same building that they gained it? You know what? I'm honestly, sadly, I'm looking for them to drop it. Here's number one. You're looking at the fact that you're dealing with Anderson and Gallows. They have been to New Japan. They have been here. They've been. They've been everywhere. They have proven themselves. Many, many tag team titles have come in, come in, uh, between them. The fact is, with this, it looks, it's, it's almost like you know the New Day say, "Oh, we got your number." We I honestly think that they have the number. Unfortunately, time might have came up. By the time they get to SummerSlam, they're going to be over 365-plus days, so I'm looking for them to drop the It's title. time for a change. Uh, you look at the tag teams that the New Day has faced over the past year, some good, some not so good. Storylines have been developed. I like the the very extremely dry humor of Dr. Anderson and Dr. Gallows. I oh, think it's, my it's just different. It's not too forced. The ball's in your court. Remember it's, that. Yeah, it's not too forced. It's very pun worthy. And I, I like the fact that WWE is giving an opportunity to these guys because we know that they have the characteristics and the personality. Yeah. I think it's time for a change. I'm going to say I have a 52% chance. 52. I'm going to slightly 52. say that Gallows and Anderson win the tag team championships, but I wouldn't be surprised if Big E makes his return somehow, yeah. and he is a key point in potentially New Day retaining, but I'm going to take Ga uh, Gallows and Anderson. You know what? Hanging on tag teams right now, we're going to flip the flip the card right now. Enzo and Cass versus, uh, what, what is it, Jer Jericho? Jericho? Jericho. What, what, Jericho? Is, what is your predictions on it, man? How fun has been Jericho for though? I mean, these guys together. I mean, Jericho has had some really Canadians. strange tag teams. Okay, yeah. Jericho, Miss Show. Not Jer that's not Jericho, <laughs> but random tag teams put together for no reason whatsoever. 
I think Enzo and Cass pick up the big win. Yeah. And I think it's because Kevin Owens, he is a guy that should be built on Kevin Owens, number one, two, and three. Exactly. No partner needed for him. He's going to turn his back on Jericho. I do think that Enzo and Cass pick up the win in Brooklyn. They need this. Like you were saying, the new era needs victories. Yeah. The new era needs to beat these two guys because, quite frankly, it doesn't really help Jericho or Kevin Owens if they win. It makes Enzo and Cass look like the next in line for tag team championships. And you think whenever you have the New Day who are still filtering around, a potential new champion in heels, new blood between Gallows and Anderson and Enzo and Cass, that could be great tag team storylines. You know what? I'm thinking it's going to be a fresh start. Here's what I'm saying. I'm actually going to agree with you on this because Enzo and Cass do need it. Right now, I love the gimmick. I, I, I love the whole thing. My name is Enzo Amore. I'm a certified junior Fantastic. star. But at the same time, as much energy as they have, it is very easy. And you're running on the edge of it falling flat if you don't give them something worth them sticking to. This could be something to where, hey, you can hype it up as much as you can, but if there's not eventually gold in it, they could run dry with it. I can understand that. Something that they're running dry with now is on the D on the women's, I keep saying Diva's side, on the women's Ooh. side on SmackDown, so many young new talent with the suspension of Eva Marie. Yes. You have a six Diva, six women's tag team match or on five. SummerSlam. <laughs> Quickly, what happens here? Or maybe do you know somebody that you think could fill that spot? You know what? I'm looking for, uh, what is it, Carmella, Becky, Le Becky Lynch, mm -hmm. and who else is in there? Carmella, here? Becky Lynch, and who's the third face? Naomi, actually. Na glow, the glow of the Naomi. Glow, the glow. Yeah. I, I, I want to I call her the female Jeff Hardy a little Versus bit. Versus Alexa Bliss, Natalia. You. Yeah, it does. Kind of reminds you. I'm honestly looking for the faces to win this. Number one, here's what's going to happen. It's, it's, it's hard to say right now with the draft, but if it could work both ways. If it's two against three with the baby faces overhand, clearly you know the baby faces are going to win. I'm still saying a lot of people are going to beat me up on on internet with this. That Who doesn't it's beat all a work, man. It's all a work. Eva Marie, she's going to come back. I'm going to say they're going to be like, Rev, you don't know what you're talking about. It's a work. She's going to come back. Hey, the, the, fa the faces are going to win this, and I think Carmella picks up the victory. A best of seven, match one. Yes. Sheamus versus Cesaro. Quickly, who you got there? Mick Foley said exactly this. This is a battle of egos, pretty much. It's a battle of egos. Cesaro, he's going to take the first one. Sheamus, he's a guy that's aggressive. The thing is, he needs to be ticked off. What better way to tick him off than by having Cesaro get a clean one? Hey, small package, schoolboy, something's going to happen clean. It's going to pump up. Sheamus, Cesaro is taking it. WrestleRumble.com, you're going to tell me and then listen to my predictions because I came in third place once. I was a bronze medal at the Olympics of WrestleRumble.com, so I'm going to go... Uh. With Sheamus. Sheamus is going to win number one, and number two is going to have Cesaro as a Superman like feel come back and pick up two or three quick wins. You're going to get seven matches. Best of seven, I think, you know, in the next couple of weeks, next month, will culminate potentially with one of those guys getting an opportunity at a big championship. I might beat you in rankings. You might be, you might be third. I might be fourth. Yeah. You never know. You never know. Now we talk about Brock Lesnar. I can't do it as the good beast. as the guy we're going to toss it to, but Brock Lesnar versus the Viper. Randy Orton, one of the big three matches at SummerSlam. We're going to toss it to Justin Labar. Justin, who do you got? All right, Josh, here's how you do it. Brock Lesnar versus Randy Orton. I think if you're sitting in the room, if you're sitting in the writer's room, I think all the writers would love to have Randy Orton get the victory here. He's back after all the injuries. We, we, it kind of feels a rejuvenated Randy Orton. He's got more energy back. It's like, he's, it's like he's a kid again enjoying what he's doing. I think everybody around the room goes, Randy Orton, Randy Orton, Randy Orton. And if that's the case, it gets to Vince McMahon, the ultimate decision maker, and he goes, no, Brock's winning it. Whether it be because of WWE 2K17 stuff, whether it be because the next night on Raw they're going to make the WrestleMania match at Goldberg and Brock Lesnar, or just because Brock Lesnar is the golden goose, he's the guy that's the, the greatest athlete in combat sports uh, 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 in America, whatever the reason is, Brock Lesnar is going to be the one that walks out. I don't see any which way, but that's okay because, quite frankly, it's a rub for Randy Orton just being in this marquee match. Randy Orton is not going to be harmed if he loses to Brock Lesnar. The Undertaker lost to Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. So once that happens, if you put up a fighting chance, which is, which is that's what this is going to be. It's not going to be a squash match. You put up a fighting chance, you still can come out of it having higher stock than when you went in on it. But bottom line, WrestleRumble.com, you want it, you want the reality check. Don't get all, don't get all you know, gooey-eyed at Randy Orton's back, and he's got the tattoos, and he's out of nowhere. He slithers like a snake. He's the Viperville. Viperville's not going to happen. Stop trying to make happen. Stop trying to make fetch happen. Viperville's not happening. It's Brock Lesnar. Back to you. I don't know about Brock Lesnar nah. standing victorious. I think Lesnar should win. But I think WWE will give the victory to Randy Orton. Yeah. Randy Orton coming back, if he loses immediately to Brock Lesnar, what does that do for Randy Orton? 
Well, yeah, he's been a 12-time champion, but he's been very complacent over the past couple of years. Yeah. People have seen the same Randy Orton. This is a new Randy Orton and a new opportunity. If we're not going to see Brock Lesnar every single week, you need to establish next in line for a world championship match. And I think you see two guys, AJ Styles or Randy Orton. And I think those are two guys that you pinpoint and say, those are the guys next up for the world championship. Who you got? I say phenomenally right now, Randy Orton. Randy Orton's taking it. Here's number one. You're looking at the underdog. How many times has Randy Orton been an underdog? I know I said this last week. Week. But the fact is exactly this. Brock Lesnar, when you look at it, he's underestimating them. We can go in football. We can go in basketball. When you underestimate your opponent, you're bound to lose because you're going to take it easy. Meanwhile, your opponent's trying to take your head off. We've seen them ping pong back and forth. Randy Orton's going to get the upper hand. Follow it all the way back to OVW. Brock Lesnar debuted, I want to say, 2002. Went through development. Randy Orton came in 2002. Brock Lesnar came in a year into WWE ahead of him. Brock Lesnar, the youngest undisputed champion. Randy Orton, the youngest world heavyweight champion. Randy Orton's been getting the upper hand so far. I'm looking for him to get it. And they both have history. They both won both titles at SummerSlam. Mm, look at you. Come You're on, a historian. Man. I did my homework, man. He's either a historian. He's been watching all the great video packages. I'm not sure. Maybe on both. WWE Network. Maybe both. But coming up, part three, we are not finished with SummerSlam predictions. AJ and John, Dean and Dolph. And who will be the first ever WWE Universal Champion? Stick around. Ooh. Share shot reality all weekend long on WrestleZone.com.